the back of your mat. Knees nice and wide, hips sinking down. Go ahead and make this an active child's pose. So reaching your arms forward, lengthening through your spine. And then just allowing your breath to slow down. Making your inhales and your exhales intentional. Think about starting your breath at the base of your spine and inhaling all the way up. And then exhaling back down from the crown of your head back down to your tailbone. You've got some distractions in your brain going on. You think about setting those to the side, maybe even shaking your head yes or no, letting them rattle out onto the mat. Take another two breaths here, inhaling and exhaling. And again, inhale and exhale. And from here, you can send your hands over to the right of the mat, stacking your left hand on top of your right so hips are nice and neutral. Another breath here. And then over to the other side, your left hand comes to the left side of the mat, tack your right hand on top of that. Add a little bit of a twist, but keep your right hip back down on the mat. Last breath here. And then coming back to center, take a breath in child's pose again. And exhale. And then coming up to a tabletop, hands directly under shoulders, knees directly under hips, and we'll add some cat cows. So inhale, drop in your chest, look up, tailbone up, and exhale, around your spine, drawing your belly button into your spine. Inhaling, drop in the chest, exhaling, rounding the spine. Inhaling, dropping the chest. And exhaling, rounding the spine. We'll add a little bit more to this. So inhale, drop your chest. Exhale, drop your chest down towards the mat. So knees, chest, chin. Inhale, unwind, find a cobra. And exhale, rounding your back up, find a cat. Inhale, back down, child. And stay here for your exhale. Again, inhaling up, finding a cow. Exhaling, dropping down, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, unwind, find your cow. And exhaling, rounding the spine up. Cat. And then back down to a child's. We'll do one more like that. Inhaling up, finding your cow. Exhaling, knees, chest, chin. Inhaling, unwinding, finding your cobra. Exhaling up, finding your cat. Inhaling down to your child. And staying for your exhale. And coming up, back to your hands and knees. Evenly distributing your weight. Make sure your hands are back under your shoulder blades. And then you can send your leg out to the back. Either leg one start with this spine. And then you can send your opposite arm to the front. Toes are flexing down towards the mat. Arm is reaching long and then your core is nice and engaged. Take your inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen it back out. And leave your foot out, bring your hand down to the mat. Drop your foot and open up to the side for a supported side plank. Breathing here. And then lifting your torso up, finding a gate pose. Reaching up, keeping your chest open towards the ceiling. 
And then returning back to this kneeling or supported side plank. And you can stay here or you can float your back leg up into a kneeling half moon. Or you can stay here, you can bend the top leg, reaching for that ankle and opening up the chest. Button the kneeling to Take a breath. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale, slowly release. And then come back to your tabletop. Get steady here. And we'll do that on the other side. So leg long behind you, foot is flexed, toes are facing the mat. Engaging your core, and then counterbalance that with the other arm. With your inhales, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen and stay. And then we'll set your hand down, and then leave the leg long. You bring your foot down to the mat. And opening up again for that supported side plank. Taking a breath. And then you can lift up, finding your gate pose. Stretching to the side of your body, but chest stays lifted. One more breath. And then coming back down. Again, you can stay here in your supported side plank. Or you can float your leg from kneeling half moon. You can stay here, or you can bend the top leg, reach back for the ankle, and open up for a kneeling to possible. Breathe in here. One more full breath. And then inhale. Exhale, release. And then make your way back into a tabletop. So once you're here, catch your breath. Engage your core, you can tuck your toes, and then send your hips up and back for a down dog. So you can pedal it out, find your move, like enjoy what your body is saying that you need. You can bend your knees or wag your tail. Whatever's feeling good is perfect. Taking another breath here. And then let's take a breath and still this together, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, you can look forward. And then take 10 tiny steps up to the front of the back. So think about plugging your legs into your hip points, hip joints rather, and making your way all the way up to the front. Once you're there, you can release your hands, grab opposite elbows, release your head and neck down. And you can shake your head, yes or no. Or you can sway a little bit, kind of wiggle through your hips, whatever feels good for you. Make one more full breath here. And then releasing your hands out of the mat, find some stillness. Inhale, half and lift, flatten your back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand up, arms come up. And exhale, hands in the heart center. You can step your feet together. The toes are together. There's a slight gap in your heels. And if you'd like to set an intention for your practice today, you can do so. All right, then we'll get started with some sun A's. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat your back. Exhale, plant your hands. Let's step back to a plank for the first one. Stay here for your inhale. Exhale, drawing your elbows in towards your chest. Slow plank. Inhaling, up dog or cobra. Exhaling, hips up and back, down dog. Taking a breath. Exhale, release. Four more breaths here. Think about evenly distributing your weight between your hands and your feet. Want to have a little internal rotation at the quads so your heels are hidden directly behind your toes. Core is engaged, chest is strong, and shoulders are engaged, so you're not dropping through. One last breath here. 
Inhale, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand up, arms up. And exhale, hands in the heart center. One breath here. Exhale, release. Second Sunday. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, do your flow. So you can step back, you can hop back. Inhaling up to your cobra. Exhaling, hips up and back, down dog. Four breaths this time. Activate your arms. Really grip the mat with your fingertips. It helps protect the wrists. So fingers are nice and wide and gripping the mat. Last breath. If you're jumping forward, step your feet together. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your foot up to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand up, arms up. And exhale, hands in the heart center. Take a breath. Exhale, release. Third sun A. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, plant your hands and get your flow. Inhaling, up dog or cobra. Exhaling, hips up and back, down dog. Three breaths. Slide is nice and long. Last breath. Inhale and look forward. Exhale, step or float up to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand up, arms come up. And exhale, hands in the heart center. Take your breath. Exhale, release, and we'll start adding on to that. Inhaling, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, do your flow. You can always skip any flow that you want. We'll be down dog. Taking a breath and down dog. Stay where you're at. I'm going to switch the sides. One more breath here. And then inhale to forward and find a plank. So really active plank. Nice long line. You're pressing the ground away from you. And then we're going to find a side plank. So left hand stays on, on the mat. Opening up towards the side. Right hand comes up to the ceiling. You're on the outside of your left foot. You can stay here. You can take a supported plank. You can step your feet one in front of the other. That gives you a little more lift. I'm sorry, a little more um, balance. Or you can float your top leg. We'll be here for five, four, three, two, one. And slowly step your right foot forward to the front of the mat, finding a low lunge. You can drop your left knee down towards the mat, shifting your hips forward. And then bringing your hand up on your right quad, you get stable here. So drawing your left hip back, I'm sorry, your right hip back and your left hip forward. And if you want to, you can give yourself a little self-assist here. Bring your hands back down to your lower back, pushing into your hips, drawing your elbows back as you lengthen through your spine and open your chest as well. Breathing here. Two more full breaths. And then unwind your spine, come back to a neutral spine, release your hands down to the mat, lift your left knee, and then think about lifting your hips up so that you can step back for a plank and do a flow. Inhaling up dog, exhaling down dog. Two breaths here between sides. And then we'll do the other side. Shifting forward for a plank. Get nice and steady here. Pressing the ground away from you. Then bringing your right hand into the center line of your body. Then opening up. Left hand comes up to the ceiling. We can just stay stacked. 
You can do a supported side plank. You can step your feet one in front of the other for a little more balance. Or you can float your top leg for five, four, three, two, one. And stepping this left foot forward all the way up to the front of the mat. Finding your low lunge. Right knee can come down. Get steady. And then you can bring your hands up onto your quads. And then if you'd like to, you can do that little self assist. So hands come out behind your back on the base of your spine. You can press your hips forward just a little bit. Lengthen through your spine, roll your shoulders back, and open your chest. Breathing here. Two breaths left. And releasing your hands, coming back to a neutral spine. Both hands down to the mat, lift your right knee, and then lift your hips a little bit so you've got room to pick up your left foot, and then step it back for a plank, and then take a low plank. Inhaling, up dog your cobra. Exhaling, hips up and back. Down dog. Three breaths here. Last breath. Inhaling, looking forward. Exhaling, stepping and floating up to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand up, arms come up. And exhale, hands come up heart center. Take a breath. And exhale, release. We'll do a sun beat. Inhale, find the chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, plant your hands, do your flow. Inhaling, up to our cobra. Exhaling, hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts up, three legged dog. Exhale, step it forward, place it on the mat between your hands. Left heel down to the mat. Inhale, all the way up, warrior one. And exhale, all the way back down. Step back.
core stays active, pull the front of our core, and then also our lower back body, and then opening through the hips. Now you can stay here if you'd like, or you can add some movement to this. If you want to add movement, your legs are going to stay nice and steady, but inhale, you'll find a reverse. And then exhale, you're going to hinge forward and kind of side angle. Right hand comes to your quad, left arm out front. Inhale and reverse. Exhale and side angle. Three more. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Last one, inhale, reverse, and exhale, side angle. Now we'll stay in our side angle. You can stay here with your right hand on your right quad. You can bring your right hand down to the mat or to a block. Or if you'd like to add some core work to it, you can sit your right around the front like you're squeezing a beach ball. So left ribs are lifting up. Hips are staying open. We're here for five, four, three, two. One, right hand comes down to the mat, making our way into half moon pose. Just so shifting your right to this right leg, lifting your left leg up. If you want to use a block or a book to support yourself, you can. Left foot lifts up, foot is flexed. Toes are facing the short side of your mat. I'm sorry, the long side of your mat. Gaze can stay down, or if you're feeling stable today, you can raise it up towards the ceiling. We've got two more breaths here. And then you can stay. Or if you'd like to take Tapasana, you can bend your top leg, reaching for that back ankle, grabbing it, and then lifting up, adding the chest opening. We're here for four, three, two, and one. Slowly releasing that. Return back into a warrior two, taking a breath, and then pinwheeling your hands down, step back. And do your flow. Inhaling up dog or cobra. Exhaling hips up and back. Down dog. Taking a breath. And exhale release. One more breath. Exhale release. Other side. Left foot lifts up. Three legged dog. Inhale. Exhale. Step your left foot forward. Place it on the mat between your hands. Finally, crescent lunge. One of the ball of the right foot. And then arms creep up, crescent lunge. The same case here as we had last time, stretching into the right hip flexor. You can bend this back leg a little bit if you'd like to, if that helps. Rotating the pinkies in to help the shoulders engage. Breathing here. Last two breaths. And then open it up, warrior two. And up towards the side of the mat, so our left leg is up front, right foot is landed in a 45 ish, keep the angle. You can peek back at your right, pick, sorry, peek back at your right arm, make sure that it's parallel to the ground, and then let your chest directly over your hips. So shoulders directly in line with your hip points, so that lean forwards or back. Two more breaths. And then you can stay here, or you can add that movement. Inhale, finding a reverse warrior. Exhale, hinging forward, side angle. Left hand comes to, or sorry, left arm to left quad. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. You've got two more. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Last one. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Now you can stay here, or you can take your left hand down to the mat, right arm up, or if you'd like to, you can take these beach ball arms, so arms out overhead, right ribs are lifting up for five, four, three, two, one, left hand comes back down to the mat. If you want to, you can grab that block or the book. We're making your way to half moon. So lifting our right leg up into the air, shifting our weight to the left foot. Our foot is 
hips flex and toes are facing alongside of your mat. Gaze can be down, or you can bring it up towards the ceiling. Last full breath here like this. And then you can stay, or you can bend the top leg, reaching back to the ankle, finding a Japasana. Once you're there, stretching back open, opening up through the hip and the chest. Two more breaths. Slowly releasing those slingshots here. Point your foot, come back down to warrior two, get stable. And then exhale, pull your hands down, step back and do your pull up. Inhaling, up dog or cobra. Exhaling, hips up and back, down dog. Two breaths here. Inhaling, looking forward. Exhale, making your way up to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat your back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, so the arms up, chair pose. And exhale, stand up, your hands up, heart center. Taking a breath. Exhale, release. One more breath here. Exhale, release. Moving on, inhale, find a chair pose. So you can stay in your chair pose. We're gonna stay here. Find as long, tailbone is pointing down, so our, our, almost a little bit of a tuck here. You should be able to see your toes. So if you need to send your knees back, you can. And then hands come into heart center. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, twisting to the right. So your left elbow comes to your right knee. Switch sides here. Once you're there, think about keeping your hips even and then twisting up so that your chest is reaching up towards your hands. From here, shifting your weight into your right foot. With your inhale, you're going to step your left foot back for revolve pressing. Exhale back to revolve chair. Inhale pressing. Exhale revolve chair. One more. Inhale pressing. Exhale revolve chair. Get steady in your chair. Check in the knees. Check your hips, make sure your posture is correct, and then stand up, straighten your arms, inhale, and then exhale, separate your feet and hip width apart, and the forward fold. You can grab your big toes with your feet near, and pull yourself down. Bend your knees as much as you need to, bring your chest down towards your quads, release your head and neck, and then elbows are out to the side, so you're pulling yourself down, Elbows reach out to the side. So opposite of Chaturanga. Chaturanga, we keep them in. Here, we keep them out. Last breath here. Now keep your peace fingers on your toes. Inhale, lengthen up, flatten your back. Exhale, forward fold, release your hands. Inhale, stand up, arms come all the way up. And exhale, hands in the heart center. Stepping your feet together, taking a breath, and exhale, other side. Inhale, find your chair. Check your alignment here first. Tailbone is sinking down, looking down, you should be able to get your toes. Chest is nice and lifted. Hands come into heart center. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, and exhale, out of the twist. The right elbow comes to the left knee this time. And then you're lifting your chest up towards your hands. Getting steady here. One more breath here. And then shifting your weight to your left foot with your inhale, see if you can step your right foot back, the ball crescent. Exhale back to crescent twist. I'm sorry, chair twist. Inhale, crescent. Exhale back to chair. A little wobbly on this side. Inhale, crescent. And exhale back to chair. Get steady. Check your alignment. Knees are even, hips are even. And then inhaling. Stand up, unwind, and exhale, forward fold. Separate your feet, hips width apart. This time we'll turn our palms face up and slide our hands under our feet. Once you're there, release your head and neck down. Again, bend your elbows as much as you need to. If you'd like to, you can wiggle your toes a little bit. I said bend your elbows, I didn't bend your knees. I'm having trouble with my words today, apparently. Two more breaths here. Exhale, 
And then releasing your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, flat your back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand up, arms come up. And exhale, hands in the front center. Step your feet together. Take a breath. Toes are together, heels are slightly apart. Getting set up for another flow. Take an inhale. And exhale. Moving on. Inhale, find in a chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, put your hands, step or hop back, do your flow. Inhaling, up dog or cobra. Exhaling, hips up and back, down dog. Taking a breath. Exhale, release. Inhale, step your right foot forward. You're going to find a warrior one. All the way up. Left foot is down on the mat. You can separate your feet like they're on the rear retracts, so that's a little bit better. And then drawing your right hip back, left hip forward, arms coming up. Breathing here. If you'd like to, you can lay your hands, bring them together, and gaze up towards your hands. If you do that, you're still engaging your core, so ribs are drawing in. Last breath here. And then we're releasing the hands, returning your chest towards a neutral spine. I'm going to open it up for your two. Just here for transition, straighten your front leg. We're moving into triangle. So if you'd like to, you can tick tock your back leg in a little bit. A little bit of a tilt with your pelvis. Your right hip drops down below your left. Inhale, lean towards the front. And then exhale, hinging forward, triangle pose. So right hand can come down to the mat. You can come to your shin. You can use that hook and block. Anything but putting pressure on your knee. Two more breaths here. And then lifting your torso up. Inhale, we'll find a reverse triangle. And then exhale, hands coming to heart center. We're going to spin our right foot around. So now we're getting set up for a wide leg forward fold. So the outside of our feet is parallel to the short side of our mat. Inhale, we'll look up, arms come up. And exhale, hinge forward, wide leg forward fold. And you bring your hands in line with your toes. And you can begin to shift your weight forward and into the balls of your feet. Really release your head and neck down. Breathing here. Two more breaths. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand up, arms up. And exhale, hands come back in the heart center. We're going to pivot back towards the front of the mat and set up for pyramid pose. So if you need to shorten your stance, you can do so. And you can have your alignment here be heel to heel, or again, it can be a little bit wider. Now, most of you probably don't have two blocks, so if you want to put your hands on your hips instead, you can do that. Or if you'd like to take a bind behind your back, you can. You can do a reverse prayer, or you can just do fists. With your inhale, think about lengthening through your spine, and then your exhale, hinging forward, pyramid pose. All right, so I'm not here to walk around and uh, tell you to even out your hips, but just think about evening out your hips here. You can shift your weight forward and back until you feel like you're nice and even. Breathe in here. Two more breaths. All right, releasing your bind. If you have one, bring your hands down towards the mat. You can step up. If you want to do a handstand back, you can. Doing your flow, we'll meet in down dog. Taking your time, getting there. Two more breaths. All right, other side, left foot steps forward, place it on the mat, right heel drops down the mat, all the way up, warrior one. Draw that left hip back, right hip forward, shoulders are rotating down, and thinking like you've got the corset on, so engaging your front body. You can stay here, or you can lay your hands, bring the hands together, and gaze up towards those hands. Bring it in here. Two more breaths. 
I'm going to open up Warrior Two. Left foot is forward, right foot is back. We're just here for a transition. Straighten the front leg. Inhale, lean forward. I'm sorry, you can scooch this right foot in a little bit. And exhale, finding your triangle pose. So again, the left hand can be anywhere, but putting pressure on your knee. You're opening up. Think about lengthening your spine with your inhale. And with your exhale, maybe find a little more opening. Breathe in here. Sorry, my dog, I call it tap dancing. I don't know if you guys can hear it on the video or not. It's a little distracting and pretty amusing. So he's, he's tap, tap, tapping in the stage right now. Another breath. And then coming all the way up into a neutral spine. And then take for a breath, reverse triangle in. And then exhale, hands come back into heart center. Turn our left foot in. So our outside of our feet are parallel with the outside of our mat. And then take a second wide leg forward fold. So if you want to do the same fold again, you can. Otherwise, you can take a bind behind your back. Inhale, lengthen it up, opening the chest. And exhale, hinging all the way forward. Forward fold with the bottom. Let the bottom help you find a little more opening. Opening your chest and your shoulders. Still releasing your head and neck down. And then again, still shifting your weight to the balls of your feet. Move it up quite as far with your hands to support you. Two more breaths. All right, slowly releasing the spine. You bring your hands down to your hips. With a flat back, come all the way up. All right, hands come to the heart center, and then we pivot towards the front of your mat again, getting set up for pyramid pose. So you can shorten your stance. And again, you can have heel to heel alignment, or they can be a little wider. Hands can come on your hips, or you can take that bind. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, and exhale, hinging forward, pyramid pose. So think about shifting your weight forward and back, forward and back, until you find those nice, even hips. Breathing here. Head the line with spine. Two more breaths. And then releasing the hands down towards the mat. And then your choice. Step hop, hands stand back, do your flow, or skip it. We'll meet and down dog. Inhaling. And exhaling down dog. Two breaths here. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, step your foot up to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand up, arms up. And exhale, hands in heart center. Take your breath. Exhale, release. Inhale, find the chair. Get steady in your chair here. Spine is nice and long. Core is engaged. And then see if you can slowly make your way down to a seat. Make your way into a boat pose. See if you can do it without any hands. If you have to use your hands, have fun. Once you're in boat pose, using your core, shoulders are down, chest is lifted, arms can stay out for five, four, three, two, one. All right, from here we're going to see if we can make your way back up in the chair. So bring the feet down, using the core, see if you can come back up. Without any hands. Once you're there, take an inhale and exhale. All right, straighten up, stand up. Your choice. You can take a malasana squat. So feet separate, hips width apart. Sending your hips down, elbows into the knees, chest stays nice and open. Or you can take a crow pose. So hands coming down on the mat, chaturanga arms, lifting your hips, bring your knees into your armpits. And then shifting your weight forward. Maybe lifting one or both of your feet for five, four, three, two, one. We'll all meet back down in this malasana squat. Taking a breath and exhale. And then standing all the way up, arms up, and hands back into heart center. You step your feet together, so toes are together, heels are apart. Moving on for some balancing work. We'll get started in an eagle. So start from your chair, and then right foot crosses up and over your left, and then right arm under your left. Eagle arms, you can keep your arms here, or you can do another half eagle with the bind here, cutting yourself. 
So squeezing your legs together, squeezing your arms together. Two more breaths here. And then unwind your hands, bring your hands in heart center. String your left leg, lift your right knee up to a 90 degree. And then hinging forward, send it back into a warrior three. So hips stay neutral, foot is nice and flex. Turn to the side. Think about dropping your right hip down towards the mat so the hips are nice and even. And if you need to put your hands down, you can. Two more breaths. And then coming back up, hinging forward, lifting the right knee, and then returning to eagle. So right leg over, right arm under, engage in the core. When you're in eagle, your shoulders are dropping down, the elbows are lifting up. Two more breaths. And then unwind that back to mountain pose. Taking okay, a breath here. And exhale, release. If you need to shake it out, you can. And we'll get started on the other side. So starting in this chair, and then left foot lifts over, up and over right, left arm under, hold your arms, or again you can do the half bind. Getting steady, squeezing everything together, shoulders are down, elbows are lifting. Two more breaths. And then unwinding the hands, bring them to heart center, straighten the right leg, lift the left knee up. 90 degrees, you can flex that front foot to help everything stay nice and engaged. And then hinging forward, do the left foot back. See if you can find a warrior three. So left hip's gonna need to drop down a little bit so your hips are nice and even. Breathing here, pressing into all four corners of that right foot. Last breath. And then slowly standing back up. Knee comes up 90 degrees. And then cross it back over your right leg and return to the eagle arms. Left arm under, shoulders are down, elbows are lifting. Two more breaths here. All right, unwinding the arms, unwinding the legs. Good job taking a breath. And exhale. All right, we're going to make our way down to our back. So you can do a flow or you can just make your way there. Inhale and up. Exhaling forward fold. Inhaling halfway lift. Flatten your back. Exhaling, putting your hands, doing your flow. Inhaling up dog cobra. Exhaling, step and back, down dog. Taking a breath. Exhale, release. And then we're making our way into our seats. So you can just step your feet through, or if you're working on jump throughs, you can separate your hands a little bit. Come up onto your toes, bend your knees. And then pop up, drag your feet through. All the way down on two our backs. Take a couple of breaths here for bridge or wheel. So you want to get your spine nice and long first. So lengthen it out, have any clothing bunches under you. Remove those. You want your feet planted firmly on the mat. Outsides of the feet parallel to the outside of your mat. We'll do four, so if you want to start with a bridge, you can. Arms down by your side. Take an inhale, and with an exhale, lift up, ready your wheel. I'm sorry, bridge pose to start with. You can stay here, or you can walk your shoulders, arms underneath you, press out, opposite hands, lift up. And when you want your action here to be lifting up, so we're not dumping into our shoulders, but think about lifting up, using the front sides of our body. Pumpkins are staying a little softer. Last two breaths. And then slowly releasing your hands, releasing your hips back down to the mat. Take a breath. And exhale, release. One more breath. And exhale, release. All right, you can take another bridge or you can go on to wheel. If you've not tried it before, you might want to try taking the wheel from the bridge first. Just see what that does to your alignment. So feet are nice and parallel. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. And exhale, lifting the hips up. Bridge pose. If you want to, you can stay here, or you can begin to bring your hands back towards your shoulders and lifting up out all the way up into your wheel pose for five, four, three, two, one. Tucking your chin, coming back down, releasing back down in the mat, 
releasing your spine. If you'd like to, you can windshield wipe your knees back and forth. Back and forth. And then coming back, feet are parallel again, in line with your hips. So outside of your feet, out in line with the outside of your mat. Feet are in line with your hips. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. And then your choice, bridge your wheel number three, lifting up. We're up for five. Four, three, two, one. Tucking the chin, and back down. Stay in here, or you can windshield wiper your feet back and forth. I'm sorry, knees back and forth. Last breath. All right, and getting set up for your fourth and last wheel. So feet stay nice and planted. And think about your knees this time. Sometimes when you guys come up, when we come up into bridge, the tendency is to splay our knees nice and wide. So keep your knees in line. And how you do that and engage your quads here. Hands coming back by your shoulders. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. And exhale, lifting up. Bridge or wheel. We're up for five, four, three, two, one. Tucking the chin. Coming back down, releasing your spine. And this time, let's take a soup to body come out to us. Soles are feet together, knees nice and wide. So butterfly on your back. Breathing in here. Two more breaths. All right, and then just a little core work to release our back. So bring your knees back in. You can send your feet up overhead like a waterfall. Feet are going to be flexed. Or we're just going to do some little pulses. So you can bring your hands down by your side. And you're just going to lift your hips, send your feet up to the ceiling. For five, four, three, two, and last one. All right, now you can tuck your knees in, give them a squeeze. If you'd like to, you can lock and roll, making your way up to a seat. All right, so nice long seat. Legs are out in front of us, feet are flexed. Starting to staff pose here. So spine is nice and straight, arms are down by your side. Take an inhale. And then keeping your back straight, only walk your hands forward as far as you can go and keep your spine straight. So it may not be very far, that's perfect. Two more breaths here. And then you can go ahead and release your hands down. Walking the hands out the rest of the way, releasing your head and neck. Five breaths here. Last breath. Walking your hands back up, coming back to a staff pose, a nice long seat. And then we'll bend our right leg. We're going to cross our right leg over our left. Our right foot's on the floor. Right knee is up. Right hand comes behind you. And then the left hand takes a twist. So you can either cradle your uh, right knee in the crook of your left elbow, or you can send your left arm up and then bend it and use it as a bit of a fulcrum here to push you a little further. Breathing here. Two more breaths. Then we'll unwind back through the center. And then uncross that right leg, and we'll do that on the other side. So left foot lifts up. Left foot plants on the outside of the right leg. Left knee is in the air, and then we'll add a twist. Left hand comes behind you, and then you can cradle this left knee in the crook of your right elbow. Or you can send your right arm up, and then bend it and use that to push you down. Take out lengthening through your spine and then twisting towards the back. Two more breaths here. And then unwind back through center. Release both legs out. Taking a breath. And then making your way onto your back for a figure four stretch. If you'd rather do a pigeon, that's fine. I'll lead you to figure four of those, so starting with the right foot up in the air, externally rotate it, bend the right knee, bring the right ankle on top of the quad, and then drawing the leg in. 
Bring it in here. You can use your right elbow to press your right knee away from you. Five more breaths. And slowly unwinding, releasing the right leg. And then we'll do the other side. So left foot lifts up, leg is straight, externally rotated. And then the knee, bring the left ankle onto your right quad. Let the left knee fall open. And then you can thread your arms through and draw it in. Breathing here. Bring both of your feet nice and flexed. Five more breaths. Last breath. And slowly releasing that, unwinding, and we'll send our feet up towards the ceiling. You have a book or a block and you want to use it. You can lift your hips up and place them up on a little bit of height. You can also just use your wrists underneath you just to elevate your hips just a little bit. Five more breaths here. Last breath, slowly releasing that. And then bring the legs down, we'll take a fish pose. So for fish pose, you're gonna bring your legs out straight, you're gonna lift and roll your hips up, place, place your palms face down under your bum, and walking your elbows together underneath you, lifting your chest up, and then releasing your head back, opening up, trying to lift through the chest, up towards the ceiling, Breathing here. Two more breaths. Slowly walking the elbows out towards the side of the mat and releasing your hands from underneath you. And final pose is a supine twist. So any supine twist that you'd like, do easy supine twists. You can do eagle legs. Just laying your legs down to the side. And then once you're there, unwinding your shoulders, trying to bring both shoulder blades down towards the mat. If you want to move your head, you can pick it up and turn it on its own axis to look toward your hand. Breathing here. Five breaths left. Engaging your core, unwinding your head through the neutral spine, and then bring your legs back up through center, and lay them down to the other side. So again, once you're there, unwinding your shoulder blades down to the mat, keep your head up and turn it on its own axis to look at your hand if you'd like. Breathe here. Five breaths left. Unwinding your head, engage your core, bring the legs back up through center. And if there's any final movements you need, you can take those if you want a happy baby or anything else. Otherwise, you can make your way into your Shavasana. Any final wiggles. All right, then landing into Shavasana, laying on your back. If you've got any bunches of clothing underneath you distracting you, you can go ahead and remove those or flatten those out. Then legs are nice and long. Back is nice and long on the mat. Arms are down by your side. Palms of your hands are facing up. Feet are released down to the side, flopping open if they will. And then starting at the top of your head, Think about taking a nice deep inhale and exhale, releasing any tension there. 
Tension around your eyes, your mouth, moving down to your jaw. Maybe release any tension that you have there. Release the tongue from the top of your mouth and let it hang down. Inhaling, moving down to your shoulders with your exhale to release any tension in your shoulders. Releasing your arms and your hands all the way down to your fingers. Taking an inhale, coming into your heart center. Releasing any tension in your chest or in your stomach, maybe in your glutes or your hips. And then moving on, inhale. And coming down to your legs, releasing your quads, the fronts of your knees, the backs of your knees, your shins and your calves. Taking an inhale. And with your exhale, let any remaining tension that you have, just visualize it leaving out through the tips of your toes, all the way down. And taking a deep breath in, filling it up all the way. And then a nice relaxing exhale out. So a soothing breath in, and a relaxing breath out. Soothing breath in, relaxing breath out. You can stay here for a few moments of calm and I'll let you know when it's time to come out. When you're ready, if you'd like to bring some movement back into your fingers and your toes. Or maybe make some circles with your hands or your feet. If you'd like to, you can take a nice good morning stretch, bring your arms overhead, reaching up. And then rolling onto either side that feels comfortable. Taking a breath there. And then making your way back up to a comfortable seat. You can bring your hands into heart center. I have a little reading for us. It says, do not be dismayed by the brokenness of this world. All things break and all things can be mended. Not with time as they say, but with intention. So go, love intentionally, extravagantly, and unconditionally. The broken world waits in darkness for the light that is you. With that, we can bring our hands to our forehead. We'll bow and say namaste.